everyone, so welcome back to our channel and today we'll be sharing you 5 simple tips on how to buy furniture from Taobao So um, you know like buying furniture from Taobao is always quite risky so firstly you don't know whether the colour um, is accurate because you know the product images might not be a true reflection of the real life colour uh, you know you don't know whether the dimensions will work out you don't know how the quality like and so on and so forth so yeah these five simple tips will ever help you so that you'll be able to get the most accurate like idea of what the furniture is like and then hopefully you can go on to build your dream type of house so if you've been enjoying our channel so far, don't forget to subscribe and like our videos and without further ado, let's start. Okay, so the first simple tip right, is really to look at the real life photos um, that people who have previously bought, um, their reviews and all that. So um, for us right, example when buying the sofa and even the table because they are um, all wood grain team right, so our concern was the colour and all. So for our sofa, when we saw the um, product image right we were thinking oh it's actually very brown um, it was more earthly brown colour um, but then you know product there are product images right because it's digitalized so the colour can be not very accurate so what we so what I did was that for the review images right I had to search for I had to go and see all the photos in the different lighting so some of them you know they have indoor lighting so you can see there's outdoor lighting so there's yellow lighting white lighting all that so when you see the variety of um, lightings and the color you get a rough image uh, rough idea um, of what the table color is like so it'll be more true to true to what it is like as compared to the product image so that's very important look at the real life images to give you an actual uh, representation of what you will actually be getting Tip number two is um, we actually learned it from our neighbours Yvonne and Joseph so when we went to their home tour right when we did their home tour they actually shared that what they did was that they actually gave their floor plan um, to the sellers um, and ask them to recommend uh, what dimensions they should get because I mean most of the time if let's say we have a room area let's say the wall is like 2 meters then we'll think oh maybe you should buy a table of 2 meters um, but you know things we might forget a factor in that oh maybe the table needs some clearance space and all so it's always a good idea um, to give your floor plan or maybe take a photo of the room um, so that the seller is able to better advise you on like maybe what dimensions you should get whether the table is too big or too small that kind of thing so um, most sellers they are very helpful in, in providing advice so it shouldn't be an issue but I guess maybe if you meet a like unfriendly seller they might not advise you on that lah. but usually they are all very friendly and happy to help I mean you all would see right like top of their customer service is like quite on point and they're always like 请在 ma? that kind of thing so maybe for furnitures you roughly can aga and guess right but I think this is a lot more helpful especially for things like curtains, blinds um, and all that lah. because maybe your curtains you don't want to get the exact same length as the window but you don't want it to be too wide as well and you don't want it to be too short or too long so yeah maybe because um, if you are doing it by yourself and you don't have the expertise right or the industry knowledge so these people the customer no, the sellers will be able to better help you in that area. So yeah, don't don't be shy to reach out to them and ask them for help. Okay, so the third tip is whether to create or not to create your items. So to clarify first, right, creating there are like two kinds. One is ta mujia. So ta mujia is when you it's kind of like skeleton plywood pieces that form that like is stapled around your product lah. Ta mu xiang right is when it boxes up. So it is completely sealed, it is like you know Madagascar where they got thrown onto the island then it came out from the wooden box that is Mu Xiang so anyway, yeah so that's creating lah okay so the thing about creating is a lot of people ask should I create my items some items we didn't create, some items we decided okay we don't want to risk it, we will create but that was years back lah but then what we realise now right is actually the most important portion is the internal packaging so if some people right, they create, like let's say they're buying mirrors, then they create right, but when it arrives, it still breaks and then you have to ding dong between like, oh who broke it, is it the Singapore last mile delivery, is it your 3PF who broke it or is it the seller when they send your 3PF so um, my advice is honestly to check with the seller and to try and get them right, whether they can add in more internal packaging so I mean most of the time it comes packed in a like uh, 
uh, what's that cardboard box, right? So sometimes if the inside is not packed tightly and packed properly, then if it's loose, right? Then even if you clip it up, it was the chances of breaking is still quite high. So that is one thing. So just know that clipping does not guarantee that whatever item, fragile item that is inside, right, will not break. So um, I will include some of like the keywords that you can use in the description down below that you can say like oh to add more like bubble wrap, add more styrofoam or whether you want to tam jia or tam xiang so that's one so in terms of creating right you can decide whether one you ask the seller um, to create for you so that's one second is second is if the seller doesn't do it you can get the your third party folder to do it most of them have that service so um, it's not free lah or you have to pay money to do it so that's that lah and also do take note that when the crating comes you will need like a crowbar or like hammer and whatever tools maybe gloves as well to uncrate the items because um there can be quite a bit of splinters and all so with that right it can be quite tedious to uncrate and after uncreating just remember to dispose of your wooden like planks all that responsibly lah at the rubbish chute area okay don't leave them lying around everywhere okay so just um, know also that creating does add to the weight um, but I guess if you are using a third party folder where it goes by CBM right so it goes by volume but um, yeah la, it, it helps la. and also um, okay so recently I was helping a friend to buy like um, some furnitures right um, and the seller said oh because you are sending to a warehouse you must create like if not it will be rejected so I went to clarify so I think on their logistics side if you are not sending it to a home, like residential address and a warehouse, right? They require you to create. In such instances, right? You can either one decide to just pay the seller to do the creating, or two, you um you just find another seller, like You tell them cancel because there are some sellers also who say, oh, if you send to a warehouse, right? We you have to pay a warehouse fee to for it to go in so some sellers i mean maybe it's legit sometimes they could be scamming you but usually no need one lah so if you are unwilling to pay you can just tell them okay i cancel my order then you just go find another seller who who is willing to send it into your third party folder without a like and a warehouse fee so yeah okay so creating is quite like your insurance lah so I mean, you wouldn't know whether it did its job, but you will know when it doesn't do its job, like when it breaks, when your rice broken, dented, so and so forth. So I mean, it gives you a sense of security, lah, to know that you know your item is more well protected. Um, but with that said, you know sometimes it can still break, lah. Okay, so for creating our items, right? Most people create like the more fragile stuff, for like, example, your sinks. Uh, some people create their toilet bowl that they ship. Uh, mirrors, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, then most solid things, right? Like let's say like our table, sofa, bed frame, dishwasher, um, because those are a bit more solid, right? So it is a bit more optional whether you want to create. It really depends on you on how much risk you are willing to take or how risk adverse you are. So yeah, hopefully that helps you in making your decision um, when buying furniture from Taobao. So yeah, if you're, I mean, if you're really spending a few hundreds of dollars um, buying all these furnitures, right? Then maybe a few, like less than fifty dollars to create all this stuff is quite minimal, lah. So yeah, okay. So the fourth tip is to make sure that your lift to your house can fit. I've seen people in the groups, right? They, what they do, they actually measure their house lift. So whether it be a condo or HDB, right? They measure the lift to make sure that it can fit. So if you're buying, like let's say a sofa that comes in the zheng zhuang la, which means it's already fixed right and let's say you want to add creating to it right please make sure that um, you can get a rough dimensions from your seller so you can speak to them ask them roughly how like including the packaging how long it will be to see where it will fit into your um, house leaf because if it doesn't right then one the last mile delivery so that means the people who deliver to your house in singapore right if they cannot fit it into the leaf they will just leave it they will just tell you they can't do it and they might leave it at the void deck and then you might have to call like some workers um, or your friends to come and carry it up for you and I mean you stay on a high floor then it's them tall lah that's your workout for the whole month so um, yeah do your checks for your lift especially when you're buying large furniture, long furniture to make sure that they can fit um, so I've seen in the groups right when it doesn't fit 
uh, what they actually do is that if they see some um, of the town council workers right hanging around what they do is that they ask them whether they are free to help carry and then at the end of the day they pay them a small sum um, for helping to carry I don't know whether is it okay or not but I guess if it works it works lah if not then I guess you can engage an actual moving company to carry up the stairs for you okay and the other tip is using a masking tape to mark up the areas I mean if the seller is unable to help advise you in terms of the spatial awareness of like whether the furniture can fit and also I think what you can do is you can use masking tape to mark out on the floor as well as against the wall so you get a rough idea of the sizing how big how bulky how tall it is um, and then you can better visualize how much space it will take up in the room lah because you don't want the furniture to come in and then it's like oh no it's taking too much space um, it's too bulky and then you're stuck with it so yeah if the seller is not able to help then a masking tape is a good alternative as well even if they do help then i guess you roughly know and you can put there right so that you can you know walk around it make sure there's enough walking space if you're gonna be walking through putting your back on the floor whether there's still enough space to maneuver around and all that okay so i hope these five tips have helped you so when you're buying furniture from Taobao, i hope that helps um, if you are interested in other furniture or top of stuff, look at our reviews playlist or even our how-to playlist on like checking reviews of the seller, you know, making sure that they are reliable, whether the reviews are good, how to see real life pictures and all that. And yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!